Okay, let's do something different. There's new people coming to Affinity Designer all the time, and therefore a lot of the people are asking us the same or similar questions, either before getting the software or soon after. So today, let's go through a bunch of Affinity Designer frequently asked questions. All right, these are in no particular order and I've got them all kind of on my phone over here. A lot of these are from questions that I've either been asked personally or that I've seen online or questions that I thought of myself that I wanted answered at the time. Well, they're also questions that I've just seen posted around multiple times. So let's go through these. So the first one we've got is, is Affinity Designer free? And the answer to that is no, but there is a free trial that they have and I'd highly recommend using that before actually buying the software because at the end of the day you want to know that you're going to be using the software and it's got everything that you want it and what better way to do that than doing it in a way that's completely free but with that as well they do hold sales quite often so you can often get the software quite cheap so make sure you look out for those if you're definitely wanting to get the software okay is affinity designer better than illustrator now in my opinion yes but it will depend on your circumstances. So if there's specific features in Illustrator that isn't in Affinity Designer, or specifically if you're working with other people who are gonna be using Illustrator, then Affinity Designer probably isn't the best suited. So if you're passing files over, it's not always the easiest to get around. So in those cases, it's probably worth using Illustrator, but I would definitely say Affinity Designer is better. Is Affinity Designer a one-time payment? Yes, it is a one-time payment, and there's no subscription at all. However, they have said for large updates that they probably will charge a small fee for the large updates. But as of right now, they actually haven't charged for any updates so far. So let's see when that actually happens. But also they did say that you don't even have to update to the most up-to-date software either. You're still fine using the older one until you're ready to upgrade. So it's not even like you have to pay out there and then. So definitely a better model than a subscription model in my opinion. And I think a lot of people agree actually. All right, we're up to number four, I think. Can Affinity Designer save as an AI file? So no, at least not right now. I believe this is due to, I think, licensing or copywriting for the AI file from Adobe. So I think they have to give permission for other softwares to be able to use that file type. So they did it in the past with the PSD file, and that's why you can see that in a variety of different places. And also Affinity Designer does save as a PSD file. But AI currently is, I think, just locked under Adobe. But hopefully in the future they can do something. But you can open AI files, so that is important. So you can't save in them, but you can open them and then edit things as well. Uh, what's the difference between Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo? So in simple terms, Affinity Designer is about creating graphics, whereas Affinity Photo is more to do with photo editing and developing. All right, what's next? Does Affinity Designer have an iPad app? Yes, and it's got everything that the desktop version has as well. It's not watered down and it's very affordable as well, especially when you get it on sale. Fun fact, I actually bought the iPad version about two years ago and I don't even have an iPad. So as soon as I get one, I'm like ready to use it because when I tested it, it was, yeah, awesome. So didn't want to pass it up. I think this is number seven. Can you do animation in Affinity Designer? No, but you can make all the assets that you can transport into the animation software in Affinity Designer. Hopefully in the future, Serif will actually make a animation software because it'd be a great rival to After Effects and yeah, I personally love it. Can you use Affinity Designer for website mockups? Yes, you can. And it has some really cool features that you can use to make things really easy for yourself. Look out for a video that's going to be coming soon about that. So yeah, make sure you subscribe. All right, next one. Is Affinity Designer good for beginners? In my opinion, yes. It's a lot less scary compared to Photoshop and Illustrator, but it's definitely a lot more user-friendly. So in short, yeah, it's definitely a lot more suited for beginners. More affordable as well. What are Affinity Designer assets for? All right, so check out that video up there for a full explanation of what assets are and how to use them properly. But simply, it's like a bank where you can store specific things which you use quite often. So say, for example, if it's like a social media logo that you just want to drag in, or if it's anything that you are using on a regular basis rather than having to find it in a different file or having to make it constantly when you save it in the asset panel you can kind of just drag it in and use it wherever you want to but can you use affinity designer to draw yes you definitely can and it's very good at it partly the reason why i already bought it on ipad because that's what i was planning to do once i get an ipad all right next one we've got is affinity designer like photoshop 
No, not really, but also yes. So Affinity Designer is more like Adobe Illustrator, but most of the things that you can do in Photoshop, it can be done in Affinity Designer. Well, all except the photo editing part, but that's what Affinity Photo is for. Okay, next, what's an artboard in Affinity Designer? So check out that video for what artboards are and how to use them and how they're amazing and the best thing about this software. But simply, they're just the canvas that you're using to create the thing that you're creating. It's literally the board on which you create your art. Right, and the last one that we got is how can I learn more about Affinity Designer? So YouTube. I mean, I could shamelessly plug my own channel here because most of my videos are related to Affinity Designer tutorials and kind of learning things, but there are so many great channels out there. So if you really want to learn how to use it properly and especially for free, then I'd recommend YouTube, but you can also get paid courses as well on things like Skillshare, but for free, YouTube's your best bet. All right, well, that's all I've got. Hopefully that answers a lot of the frequently asked questions that beginners usually have before getting Affinity Designer. Like I said, if you want to learn more about Affinity Designer, then make sure you check out the other videos in my channel because they hopefully will help make sense of a lot of different features and we're going to have a lot more videos about different features and how to make them simple now if you've got any frequently asked questions that you've got yourself make sure you drop them in the comments below i'll happily try and answer as many as i can might even make a part two to this video while you're down there don't forget to give this video a like and hit subscribe for more videos like this and if you haven't already make sure you check out this video right here but as always i've been brown bear thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one